Welcome back to Zen for Floods. Today we are going to learn how to make DTMF based home automation using Arduino. This is very interesting project. As we know, the demand for home automation devices has increased over the past few years. There are so many products in our market. DTMF home automation, dual tone, multi frequency signaling. You can control your home electronic appliances like bulb and water pump or any electronic device from anywhere. If you forget to turn the bulb or the other electronic appliances while going out, this DTMF home automation helps you to turn off the appliance with your phone call. So let's get started. We will require the following components for this project Arduino Nano, GSM SIM 800 module, LEDs, breadboard, and jumper wires. SIM 800 GSM GPRS module designed as miniature GSM modem can be, in can be integrated into a great number of IoT projects. The SIM 800L GSM GPRS module performs similar function as a normal cell phone can. It can SMS text messages, make or receive phone calls, connect to the internet through GPRS. Moreover, the module supports quad band GSM GPRS network, which indicates that it works pretty much anywhere in the world. It consists of the following pin. The pin one is connect the pin one is to connect the helical antenna. Pin two is the VCC pin. Pin three is RST. Pin four is RXD. Pin five is TXD. Pin six is ground. If we want to hear the voice calls, we can connect the speaker with SIM 800L. Connect the negative terminal of the speaker with pin 7. Connect the positive terminal of the speaker with pin 8. If we want to talk on the SIM 800L, we have to connect mic with SIM 800L. Connect the negative terminal of the mic with pin 9. Connect the positive terminal of the mic with pin 10. Pin 11 is DTR pin which controls the sleep mode. Pin 12 is ring indicator. Insert the SIM in SIM 800L module. Connect the VCC of the GSM SIM 800L with 5 volt of the Arduino or external power supply. Connect the ground of the GSM SIM 800L with ground of the Arduino Nano. Connect the TX pin of the GSM SIM 800L with D9 pin of the Arduino Nano. Connect the RX pin of the GSM SIM 800L with D10 of the Arduino Nano. Connect the 4 LEDs with digital pin 4, 5, 6 and 7 respectively. When the LED in the GSM SIM 800L blinking fast, it means it is not connected with the network. And when it starts blinking slowly, it means that it is connected with the network. You will be calling your assigned number, the SIM number which you inserted in the GSM module. The system will answer your call 5 seconds after the call is connected. Now you can use your keypads to select your process to be done. When we press 1, the LED will be turned on. And when we press 1 again, the LED will be turned off. When we press 2, the second LED will be turned on. And when we again press 2, the second LED will be turned off. Pressing 3 will turn on the third LED. And again pressing 3 will turn off the 
LED. Pressing 4 will turn on 4th LED. And again pressing 4 will turn off the 4th LED. In similar way, you can control various home appliances like TV, fan, etc. That's it for today's tutorial. I hope you found this project exciting and useful. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest projects. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.